Good day, everyone. Um, again, um, since I am I am committed to to give you at least one video every day. Um, you know, this is my this is my um, this is my commitment to my YouTube channel. <laughs> by by hook or by crook, right? Rain or shine, I I have and it is a must. For me to to upload at least one video whether it is an informative video or um, it's a video between me and my personal activities or me and uh, boss uh, Edgar but um, unfortunately uh, boss Edgar is not uh, available until now because he's uh, still sick I, I I hope by very soon I'll be will be sharing video with Boss Edgar and we will be giving you jokes okay so um, today I'm going to discuss uh, another sample program and we'll be again uh, applying the concept of function programming okay so here in my notepad right please follow we'll be creating a C program that will ask for a value right so ask for a value so we'll be using scan if in here and we can separate that we can slice that and put that in a particular function okay and then display whether it is even or or odd okay so prior to the display whether a number is even or odd we need to evaluate it uh, we have to to make use of some conditional statement conditional statements and these conditional statements can be placed in one single function also and uh, to display whether it is even or add again it's another it's another um, it's another function it can be right so uh, for a while I will be turning on my um, color okay so that's it that is why here in my in my program actually i did this a while ago um, i decided to have three functions right please please follow uh, a function to get a value uh, i'm sure you're so familiar with this one and another function to display even or add you're also familiar with this because i i did use these functions on my previous videos and uh, this one is something new um, int add even function okay so when I am going to use this function I need to have one parameter all right and it's an integer value and when I'm going to use display function I need to have how many parameters five and among the five we I need one integer value and the rest are actually character values all right so when I tend to use get value, I don't need any parameters. I just use it. Okay. Now look at my main program. This is my main program. I only have how many lines? One, two, three, four. Right? It's very simple. <laughs> this is the good thing with function programming. Okay. So look at this. I'm sorry. Um my ah sorry. So I, I declared num as an integer variable right because along the way i'll be using num to call get value all right so num is equal to get value meaning i'll be using get value and whatever value that i'll i'll can get I, i'll get from here i'll be storing it to num right so we'll try to evaluate this or manually simulate this so that you viewers can and understand the behavior the flow of the program so when we say num is equal to get value we are trying to use get va value function so uh, after here our program will look for get value so this is now our get value function and then interpret all right interpret execute so in value then followed by i'm sorry uh, followed by um, printf so eventually um, it will be, it will be displayed on the screen right and then scan it means ask for a certain number 
if for example we will enter 7 when we press enter k alright um, 7 will be stored to but 7 will be stored to value okay and uh, the next one is I'm sorry return value meaning return 7 pass back 7 to the caller the caller is num so num now has a value of 7 right and then our program moves down so it is now calling what add even function and while trying to use add even function we are passing parameter we are passing 7 because our num is 7 okay so it goes down again and look for add even so this is our add even and while we are while the program is looking for add even it is bringing what seven right this one num okay so seven so seven will be received by x in here are you following okay so our x now has a value of seven and then here's a condition okay uh, what is this is the remainder of x divided by 2 equal to 0 right so 7 divided by 2 is 3.5 something the remainder is 5 not 0 so meaning the condition is false now since the condition is false do not perform this one instead perform the else portion the else portion says go to display function right we're calling display function and while we are trying to call display function we are bringing several parameters the parameters are x meaning integer x and that is 7 right and then character o character d and character d plus a blank space are you following so when we get inside display all right uh, i receives the value of x our x is seven all right and e receives character what is this character o are you following b receive what character d and c receives what character d and our d receives vacant space all right and then here comes print it and it will display what a uh, number right followed by person d person d is actually a data placeholder and this is the place where i value is or will be located so our i is how much our i is 7 so 7 will be placed in here then followed by s then four characters right and these are actually the value of a to d the value of a is o the value of b is d the value of c is d and the value of d is vacant right blank space so the result is num is i simple okay so our main function only have four lines right and then we have three functions we slice it into three all right so here let's go to our online compiler and uh, actually this program or actually the program that i did discuss a while ago in my notebook <clears throat> i did this you know uh, 10 minutes ago right so we'll try clicking run run button and let's see if this program will run so now the, the program is asking for a value so when we press 7 it will display number 7 is at okay so this inter number is actually the result of what the display of inter number is the result of this line num is equal to get value meaning 
our variable num is calling get value to function all right and then th this is the fun this is the the, the 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 program under get value it is asking for what it displays inter number all right and then followed by any value and in this particular example we use 7 as our example and 7 is being stored to value return value means pass back 7 to the caller which is now all right so this is the result and then our program moves down add even while we are trying to use add even function this one we are bringing num which is 7 and our 7 is being passed to x meaning at this time x now has a value of 7 and here are or here is, here is the condition is x which is 7 divided by 2 is the remainder 0 because if not then meaning this condition is false 7 divided by 2 that's 3 point something the remainder is 0.5 that's not zero so do not perform this one instead perform display then pass on whatever is the value of x when we are when you are going to get inside display so the value of x is being received by i right and then o d d space is being are being received by a b c and d respectively and then it displays this one so here number seven is at seven O, D, D, and space are actually parameters. Coming from where? Coming from add even. Here. We are passing parameters in here. When we call display. Right? Now, we'll try using another example. Let's say, for example, 4. 4 is an even number. Right? Because 4 divided by 2 is 0. I mean, the remainder is 0. Right? So, when we press enter K, uh, number 4 is even. Why is that so? Uh, here, is the remainder of 4, assuming that, right? Because the example is 4. Is the remainder of 4 by 2, 0? Yes. Because 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. Remainder is 0. So since the condition is true, perform this one. Right? That's why we have this. Number 4 is even. Right? A uh, bigger example. Um, let us say, for example, um, 78 we present their k uh, number 78 is uh, an even uh, number <laughs> right so um, that's it and uh, um, I, I I hope I was um, I was able to um, explain the program the problem I hope I was able to explain the technicalities of the functions all right sometimes uh, you can call functions within another function right in this particular example uh, we are inside add even function and while we are inside add even function we call another function right so that's still okay in C programming you know when you're good in function programming I'll tell you you'll be good in OOP programming or object oriented programming okay so um thank you so much for for now i hope you can use this uh, video as your guide while you are trying to digest the idea the concept of function programming god bless you okay for now but by the way please click subscribe right please share this video to your friends classmates please <laughs> thank you so much